Hello everyone and welcome back to Sunhaven. My name is Melanie B. It is now Saturday the 21st of summer in year number one. Okay, let's grab our watering can. Now we gotta put out some flyers as usual. Okay. Now for whatever reason, when I first start, my controller doesn't work unless I plug it and um, plug it and replug it back in. It's kind of odd, but it's fine, I guess. Okay, so just the one fire this time. And we'll water the other ones. I can't wait till I get a stronger axe so I can clear out some of the, these larger trees. They're definitely getting in the way. I'd also like to clear out some of these huge rocks as well. Only one thing harvested for today. Okay, so we got some mashed potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna put some of my stuff into storage. So the last time we were on our way to Withergate, we were able to defeat the King's Pet Heat Viper that was blocking the way, but now we should be able to get over there via Sharon. So maybe we'll continue on that path. But I need to get some more animal food. Now I can just make animal food with some wheat. So let's do that. I mean I can give the money to Kitty too, but let's do it this way instead. Oh, already had some animal food in here. I did. Okay, let's go put this out first before we leave the farm. Okay, perfect. So I'll just leave this in here. Now I can probably leave the apples in here for cooking. Um I might take these eggs and we'll keep some cheese. We'll definitely keep the berries. What else can we take that fills up mana? Uh, the blueberry does. Let's take some blueberries too. Okay, let's sort this a bit more. I'll sort that. And probably leave these behind. The lightning in a bottle and the antler. Uh, I probably should make a new chest actually. <laughs> Just for my resources. Okay, let oh, we already have a chest that has these resources too. Okay, we'll move it over. And I'll pleat down the stable 
We'll place it right here. Uh, we'll move it eventually, I think. And maybe I should put down this new Beach Nakun plush. This one's pretty cute, I think. They're all pretty cute. <laughs> so what's in our meal? Hello citizen, remember to mark your calendars because the annual beach barbecue is coming up on the 28th. There will be a hot dog eating contest as well as wonderful things for sale by various vendors. We hope to see you there. Those who wish to attend should speak to Bernard in Town Square on the 28th. I will definitely attend that. Okay, so we need to speak to Iris to learn what she has to say. And we also want to enter with a gate. So let's see here. Where is Iris? Oh, Iris is in Nalvari. Right, I started my training with the World Dragon too. Okay, so we needed to talk to, I think, Iris and Van. So yeah, maybe we'll continue that one before we finish up with the with the gate one. I definitely like Nelvari a lot. It's very pretty. Okay, let's hop on to Griffin and go back to Nelvari. I keep forgetting I have crops over here too. <laughs> well, eventually I get this whole area cleared out. Look at the mess here. All these rocks and trees. But I haven't even done that on my main farm as yet. So it's probably going to be a while before I get around to doing it over here. But let's grab some of these forage. And now we'll need to find Iris. Okay, now let's look at the map. So, I can see her up there. Okay, let's go say hello. Hello, Melanie B. Navarro told me she'd seek me out. You learn a lot from her, trust me. As part of her lesson, I want to ask you to do something. Let me explain. Nelvari is able to flourish the best when we are kept hidden. It's safer for us this way, only opening to those who prove themselves a friend, such as you. A powerful protection spell keeps Nelvari hidden. Fueled by the mana conduits found around the city, Infusing mana into the conduits keeps the spell charged. Will you visit each conduit and make an infusion to them to keep Nelvari hidden? I certainly will do it. So I see one right here. We'll put one in there. And we'll need to find the others. So... Let's see, there's one here. I'll get one in there too. Is there any over on this side? Nope. Oh, I need to infuse each mana conduit with at least 10. Okay, so I can't just do one. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Let's get 10 in there this time. So I'll have to go back and do those other two and give them nine more each. Let's see if there's any over here. No, but there are some vendors. This is Silas Leaford. Pleasure to meet you. So tell me, what can I do for you? What do you sell? A mining essence. Oh, but I don't have the right currency for this. 
Okay, well these look pretty cool. I wonder how I get more of those. And Poppy. Hey there, come to trade? And he also has his own separate currency. Okay, uh, yeah. These look like really nice equipment, but don't have the ability to pay for that. What's up here? I'm kind of distracted right now. I should be infusing the conduits, but... Now oh, here's the griffin. And Wilt is here too. Who goes there? What is this place? This place deep mind. Wesley tell Wilt only key people allowed inside. Who are the key people? Must mean that if you have key you pass. That's probably not what Wesley meant, but alright. Do you have a key? Um... I don't think I have keys. <laughs> uh, tell me about the mines. These deep mines go under Nelvari long way. Grand tree roots move each day. Block and unblock different mines. So there are different mines. Each day a different mine open. Can be ruins, flower, mushroom or beehive. Each mine has three different size floor. Better key give better chance at bigger floor size which mean more resources to mine. If you leave mine, floor is lost. We'll have to give Wilt another key to get in again. Okay. So we get to use the key once per day and once we use it, we'll have to pay again to get in. Okay. Um, so we can use Either Man key, My Thrill key, and Sun Eye key. Yeah, don't have any of those keys. <laughs> okay, see ya. And this treasure is locked by a sunite key. Which I do not have. Okay, let's get back to replenishing these conduits. So we'll go back to this first one and put nine more in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, I did ten. And now I'm running low on mana. Let's eat some of these blueberries and get our mana refilled. It certainly does not fill up very much. But, you know, it's free forage, right? Let's find another conduit. Let's go up this way. We'll grab these raspberries. Oh, there's another one right here. It's kind of hiding. We'll do 10 here. Oh, no, I pressed the cancel button. And apparently cancel button isn't the right button. Um... Let's grab that, and this too. Oh, we have to jump up to get to Van's house. But we're not friends with Van, so I don't think we can go into his house. 
Okay, so it seems that because I put extra into this one, it counted because I guess I totally put, I put over 40 in there in total. Okay, so let's talk to Iris again. Thank you, Melanie B. A long time ago, our way of life and even our very existence was gravely threatened. I don't want to talk about it, but I never want something like that to happen ever again. So it's best if Nobari just stays hidden. I don't know if you'll agree with me on that or not, but thank you for helping anyways. Navara is an excellent teacher, so take whatever she tells you to hide. Okay, thanks, Arias. So now we have to talk to Van. Maybe we should eat some more blueberries. We've already eaten over 60 of these. Okay, that's good for now. <laughs> so, Van was at the entrance area to the city. Let's see if they're still there. Oh no, Van has moved away. So, where is he? Okay. He's in the general store. Oh, there he is. Hello there, Melody B. You're here because Navarra asked you to come, aren't you? Goran told me everything about your lesson on perspective, along with my place in it. There's a lot you can learn from Navarra's lessons here in Navari, but I also know there's a lot more you can learn outside of Navari. Navarra can teach you a lot, but at the same time, don't feel held back. Do you know what I mean? I think so. I'll tell you what, this is my test. I've hidden something just outside of Novari. If you find it, you'll pass my test. It would be easy for you, I'm sure. Okay, I'll find it. So it's just outside Novari. Whatever could it be? Okay, so... Oh. The Great City Poster Van. That was poorly hidden. <laughs> that was not even a test. Okay. Let's get back to Van. Okay, where did he go so quickly? He certainly moves fast. Okay, let's get up there and, and find him. Hey Ben, I found your conspicuous hidden poster. Found it already, did you? <laughs> I thought I had hidden it. Well, you didn't. All right, Melanie B. It seems you've passed my test. Well done. I'll leave you with this. Navarro told me that Gorin has prepared a special task for you. Best of luck with your lessons and with this and with rising up. Okay, I'm off to see the elder. Okay, we'll go see Corwin, and this time we can use the wind tunnel. Ah, uh, hello Melanie B. How was your training with Novara? Oh, I'm sorry Melanie B. I was not expecting to be part of your lesson. Van is quite fond of his pranks as usual. Oh ho! But you are here, so let me tell you this, Melanie B. There are many who live in Novari, and each of them feels a certain way. They are equally valid to me. Some value hiding from the world, and I respect your reasons why. 
Others wish to see the world and brave the potential threats outside. I do not discourage them either. I am the Elder, and all perspectives must not only be known to me, but acknowledged. It is something my young apprentice Wesley is having trouble grasping, but I still remember when I was young, myself. I believe in his ability to understand the value of perspectives, and I believe in yours as well. As for your special task, hmm, well, how about this? Return to Navarra and tell her that I send my greetings. Ho ho ho. Okay, you got it. So, we have to get back to the world dragon. Okay, let's head out again. And of course, we'll collect all of this stuff. I gotta love stuff you can pick up off the ground for free. Or shake out a tree. Welcome back, Melanie B. How was your time with Iris and Van? Well, Van pranked me, but Elder Groen sends his greetings. You think you catch the faintest glimpse of a grin in the world dragon's eye, though her composure remains otherwise completely intact. Have I passed the lesson? First, I wish to ask you one more thing, Melanie B. What is your perspective? Should Navari stay elusive and hidden? Or should Nalvari open itself to the world? I think Nalvari should remain hidden. I see. By staying concealed, you can better assure your safety, but it is also important to understand what you give up. I wonder if you would have answered the same way had I asked you before you began this lesson. Please reflect on what those you have spoken to have told you. Try to understand their perspective. I think I understand. You have done well, Little Sprout, and your first lesson is complete. I hope you now understand the importance of perspective. Now then, when you are prepared to learn the next lesson, come seek me again. Okay. Um. So we got some bonus mana and some mana orbs. So for bonus, I'm going to go with farming. Yeah, we're at level 29 farming now. It's 8 p.m. Do I want to start the next quest? Let's see what she has to say. Are you prepared to forget your next lesson, Melanie B? I'm ready. Everyone sees the world through their own perspective. A single perspective is only a single way of seeing the world. Many perspectives lead to a more complete understanding. No matter how different something or someone is, you can find a commonality with it, if you are willing to look. Most of the citizens of Nelvari are welcoming of your presence, but what about the one who is not? Melanie V, seek them. When you find you have reached a commonality, come back to me. Are you talking about Wesley? Ah, was it so obvious that it was Wesley of who I spoke? Navarra's eyes narrow slightly and a sorb's note escapes her snout. A laugh? I know how the elder assistant can think sometimes and how he feels. Regardless of any misgiving you might harbor, approach Wesley with a willingness to see his perspective. You will find you have more in common than either of you may think. You should be able to find him in the tavern of the Grand Tree at the moment. Okay, thanks Navarra. So we gotta go find Wesley and make him our friend. So it's 8, 10 p.m. Yeah, we can still do that. Huh? What do you want to talk to me for? Commonality? Huh? Listen. 
I don't have any time for something like that. And besides, it's a bad idea anyways. You can train with Navarra all you want, but I have work to do. <laughs> okay. Understandable. It seems like Wesley isn't going to make it this easy. Go figure. Maybe the Elder could provide some advice with this task. Perhaps he's in the council room at the Grand Tree. So... Let's go see Gorin again. Oh, hello there, Melanie V. Do you need me for something? What's going on with Wesley? Hmm, I cannot tell you. I, I didn't think this moment would come. Ho ho. Wesley has a lot to worry about, though perhaps that's just an excuse I make for him. He admittedly has a few things to learn in order to become Elder. What do you see in Wesley? That is a very fair question, and one I bear responsibility to answer. Wesley cares deeply for our Nelvari tradition, deeper than perhaps anyone else, including myself. More than anything, Wesley wants to watch Nelvari and all of its people thrive. The way he seeks to accomplish this, however, is thorough is through long-standing tradition, some of which has not aged well it seems. When I selected him as my apprentice, he was full of hope and eagerness, ho ho ho, but now I worry that his own fears have turned him sour. Perhaps I have failed at being there to guide him when he needed it. Okay. Wesley seems like he has some growing to do. Wesley has much to learn. I have much to teach him. Perhaps it's time he learned something truly important. Hmm, yes. Melanie B, maybe you coming to Novara really was fate. I wouldn't be surprised if Novara thought so too. Ho ho. Perhaps this is Wesley's lesson, just as much as it is yours. What can I do to get through to Wesley? Wesley lets his pride and duty get the better of him doesn't like to accept help either. You worked very hard to prepare your farm for you, didn't? did you know? Of course you didn't though, since he didn't show it. The way Wesley acts doesn't earn him many friends or much thanks for the work that he has done. So how hard did he work to prepare my farm? From the moment I put the task to him, Wesley worked every single day to get the home and land ready for you. Tend into the ground, uh, making the old farmhouse a more comfortable abode. Though he had quite the troubling dealing with how quickly the weeds would regrow. Though he had quite the trouble dealing with how quickly the weeds would regrow. Ho ho! You hardly believe he worked up a single sweat from the way he acted so rudely. Perhaps there's something you could do as a show of goodwill to Nelfari. That I believe is something my apprentice would never expect. Ho ho. Okay, I'll try to think of something. So what can we do? So we need to donate mana orbs at the donation box in the center of Nelvari. Okay. So gotta get almost 9 p.m. We'll have to sleep on the Nelvari farm tonight because there's no way we can get back to the main farm now. Okay, let's make our donation here. So we need to do a thousand. Okay, so <laughs> let's How do we get more mana orbs? Okay, 
so we've done 370 now. Oh no, 470. So we just need to get the more mana orbs. It's not quite the time yet. Maybe we can do a little bit more foraging. Or even some fishing. But there's still this snackoon here. This furry lump is in my way. Maybe it would move if I brought it something it likes. And it likes energy smoothie and cheesecake. I don't have either of those things. So that's probably something I would have to make. Okay. Let's catch a fish. Hello, fish. Let's try that again. Okay. Holy, this one's fast. Okay, that was super fast. <laughs> but we probably should get to bed now. And into bed we'll go. Okay, so we've sold 92 orbs worth of stuff. How does this work exactly? And 380 for gold, and we had 395 experience. Okay. Well, it is now Sunday, the 22nd of summer in year one. So I'll we'll have to get back over to the main farm. But we'll also have to figure out a way to get more manor orbs. Let's check out this crafting over here. So we can make mana drops. A droplet of crystallized mana. It pulses at the thumb, just giving off a gentle glow. So, I don't need to donate those. I need mana orbs donated. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to get that. Um, I'm gonna try chopping a tree down. See how much I can get from selling the wood. Well, I'm getting orbs from chopping the tree. So let's see how much the wood is worth. One. <laughs> so that is not very worthwhile. Oh, I got a magic tome. Let's use that. these mushrooms here so since I don't have nearly enough orbs I'm just gonna go back to Sunhaven yeah we got a couple of crops ready and no fires this is fantastic what are these crops? I'm definitely gonna have to plant some more crops for next season. 
but I think I'm gonna do that down here instead and I'm probably gonna just get rid of this area up here for crops maybe let's actually clear this spot out a bit let's put that there so I we'll need to remove these toad spots Probably gonna put down some pathing, like brick pathing in front of my house. But I don't have any pathing as yet. So I'll have to see about getting some of that. But that's probably gonna be a while off. There were a single button I can press to get rid of all of the the till dirt that I want to until. Okay, this is starting to look much better. Okay, now we got some skill points we need to place though. Oh, we have skill points in just about every category to place. Okay, let's start with exploration. So what do we have? We have one we can place, high jump, silk saver, adventurous cookbook or pen pals. We have up to seven unlocked already. Oh boy. Increases mana regeneration. Sap sucker. Chopping down trees restores mana. Oh, that can be nice. Increases the amount of fruit dropped by fruit trees. What? Maybe we'll go for this thing. And for farming, we've got one skill point to place here too. So we have up to level 6 unlocked. Expert Chef, Artisanry, Master, or Friend of the Forest. Oh, well, we can do the Earthquake spell. I want this Rain Cloud spell here. But we haven't unlocked that just yet. Um, a seed maker, don't need that. Alchemy table, that might be interesting. Let's, oh we can get food from kitty in the mail. Okay, let's go with that. And combat. Let's go with mental focus on that one. And fishing. The bountiful harvest. Every item collected from fishing net grants 3, 6, or 9 bonus gold. That doesn't seem that great. Taking notes increases experience gain of every fish. We'll do that. Oh, we have two more points to place. <laughs> um. Well woven nets, fishing nets now have a chance for additional community token. Or bigger hook. Increases the win area of the fishing minigame. Yeah, let's do that. Make the fishing minigame even easier. Okay, all our skill points are placed now. Two eggs, two milks, and one egg. Let's see what else we can cook. Because with these mashed potatoes, we have a total of nine. We've eaten two so far. 
so yeah we can make up to like a total of a hundred of these I think well that will give us the additional bonus anyway and I definitely can use some defense okay maybe we'll equip this too put the berries up here and we'll make some more so milk and potato one of each I don't have a whole lot of potatoes do I okay so we'll just do three more Oops. Is there any dishes with eggs I can make? Oh, well, I can make egg hash instead. Okay, maybe after we do the mashed potatoes, we'll do some egg hash. We need more potatoes. I think potatoes grow in all seasons, though. So we can plant some for next season as well. But I really don't want to plant anything that I have to water manually. <laughs> so I really want to wait until I unlock the rain cloud. Maybe let's clear out some trees around here. rocks too okay and more trees can go oh we also have a request from warm heart born heart to turn in and it's Today is the last day, so we should make sure to get that done. So we'll go see Warren Hart today. Okay, so we have basically one week left in summer. I'll also go check out the general store. Oh, Scuzzy is here. You got any tickets? I don't take those little gold things you call coins. Um, we got a few tickets. What do you mean you don't take coins? This is coin. So the iron watering can is 3,500. I don't want to spend that. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Maybe we should see what other quests there are. Albert's diet. Judith has me on a diet based on eggs, but we're all out. Is there a hero in town willing to deliver 12 eggs? 600 for it? That's 50 per egg. Um, but we'll get some wallpaper. Okay. Let's do it. And I see Nathaniel here. Let's say hello before he passes by. Hop, two, three, four. Hop two, three, four. Oh, hey, didn't see you for a second. Sorry, my mind is kind of wandering right now. What was that hop to thing you were saying? Oh, was I saying it out loud again? Ah, Kitty heard me doing it once and she started repeating it for a whole week. I don't know if she was just being silly or making fun of me. It's a beat we learned to match to when I attended military training in the great city. 
It's drilled into my brain. I'll never forget get rid of it. Okay, you did your milita military training in the Great City? Yeah. You're originally from the Great City too, right? Maybe we passed by each other one day and never realized it. Pretty crazy, huh? The military academy there is second to none. I was very fortunate to get in, all thanks to my mom. It was strict, but I survived. Came out better for it too. So, wha what has your mind wandering? I love my life on duty, but the daily grind can get a little dull. It gives me lots of time to think, but sometimes I end up daydreaming a bit. Heh, <laughs> does that sound bad? Daydreaming on the job? <laughs> Okay, so you're only human, it's fine to slip up a little, or you're way too lax to be captain of the guard. Let's say you're only human. Thanks for not being too hard on me about it, Millie B. Good people like you are why I do what I do. The grind is always worth it, no matter how dull. Speaking of which, I need to get back to work. Okay, well, I'll give him an orange, oh no, an apple. There you go. Okay, see ya. Our heart friendship level has gone up a bit. Okay, let's see what else is on the quest board. June's honey. Hello, Sunhaven. I'm looking for some fresh honey to go with my tea. If a neighbor would kindly bring me some, I'd gladly repay them. I don't have any honey. Okay, let's go to the farming store and see what we can get that's for just this season. So, oh, there's coffee. Coffee bean tea takes seven days to grow. You have one crop on average, and sells for a base of thirty-five, and it regrows. This is for summer and fall. Let's maybe get a couple of coffee <laughs> and melon seeds. This takes 14 days. We already have the durian. We had the store melon. Um, pineapple, four days to grow. Did we donate a pineapple though? I feel like we're missing something from our donation pile. Was it the honey flower seeds? Let's get one of these. This is any season though, so it's fine to plant it whenever. Okay, maybe we'll go back to the museum first to see what we're still missing. Okay, so for the flowers, we're missing honey flower, and this is what I have here. Perfect. But for the crops, oops, we are missing guava. Oh, oh my goodness. So I don't know why I didn't plant guava before. But surely it would have like grown by now. I thought I got all of the seeds originally, but maybe one of those critters got my guava because I think I only bought like one. So let's see how long it takes to grow. Baba, how long do you take? Eight days. Oh, but it grows in summer and fall. Perfect. We'll take that. 
and should I get more coffee? I wonder how much coffee I can afford. <laughs> so I've already gotten two. We're going hard on coffee. <laughs> I love coffee, not in real life, but in video games. I think I had a sip of coffee once in my life and I absolutely hated it. And I've never had coffee ever again. Okay, that's a dozen. Much obliged, farmer. I'm glad some people around here still care about chivalry. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, this was for the quest for the eggs. Okay, let's take farming XP. Oh, and I needed to go to Warren Hart. Let's do that before we go back to the farm. Because I believe the clinic closes. At 8 o'clock. Oh, he's not even here. Where is Warren Hart? Okay, he's down here. I think it was just some stone he needed, which is kind of odd <laughs> that he's using that as a paperweight, but I mean it's effective, right? And that's all that matters. Hey, my stones. Thanks a bunch, farmer. You're a true neighbor. No problem. We'll take farming experience. And we leveled up exploration again. Look at all that oranges. So that's what it means by it doubles the drops. I mean, I guess it kind of speaks for itself. It said exactly what it does. Oh dear, look at the beach. I'm getting distracted because I was supposed to be planting my coffee. But here I am, foraging on the beach. It's already 7.30. Am I going to be able to plant all my coffee in time? Let's rescue the turtle and get a diamond. Let's go grab our diamond and head back. I need to get all the crops watered too. I really have to hurry. Can I do it all in one go? Before midnight. Grab that fish here. We can probably just sell it. Okay, so we got one guava and one honeysuckle and 25 <laughs> coffee beans. Um, we'll place these right here. Now we of course have to water them. Okay, let's water. Yeah, we should be able to get it all done in time. Easy peasy.
coffee. Perfect. Okay, so that's gonna start growing today. So now what else do we have to do on our quest? Because we don't have any quests left. Okay, that means we can have some time to clear out the farm a bit. And we're getting some mana orbs from doing this too. I wonder like how like does every kind of foraging action give you mana orbs? I'm not really sure. But we're getting summer tokens too. And I want to go to the summer store and buy spend my tokens before the season's over. So maybe we'll do that by next Sunday. I know it has a cute little plushie in there, pet, that I wanted to get. Getting late, but we can get a few more trees down. Oh, there's a hidden ink blob back here. Clear that out. Do I have time to make it to the selling box? No, I better not. <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. Okay, so we earned 843 experience and sold 10, 1,083 in gold and 18 orbs worth of stuff for today. I think that's a pretty good day overall. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.